Johnson, Director of Solutions Engineering at G5, and this is G5 Tech Talk, How Attribution Works. In our last video, we talked about why attribution matters. Here's a quick recap. Attribution assigns credit to one or more touch point on a runner's journey that had the most influence on the decision to tour, visit your property, or sign a lease. Without attribution, marketers have no way to determine what's actually driving leads to their properties. Let's take a look on how attribution works. Matt wants to rent a storage unit. Over the course of five days, he does some online research for facilities near his new home. His online journey included clicking on a search ad for Tip Top Storage, a visit to Tip Top Storage website, clicking on a display ad for Tip Top, another visit to Tip Top website, a phone call to the Tip Top office, and a visit to Tip Top website prior to filling out an online application and leasing form. According to the first touch attribution model, the first search ad would get all the credit for bringing Matt to Tip Top. There's nothing wrong with that. The ad likely made Matt aware of Tip Top. However, he may have already known about the facility, in which case, his click on that particular ad may not have been as valuable as the first touch model assumes. Likewise, in a last touch attribution model, Matt's last visit to the website would get all the credit for his signing an application and lease. Again, this is problematic. By focusing on that last touch, we lose sight of the other touch points in his journey that may have influenced his decision to reach out to Tip Top. So single touch attribution is a little short-sighted when it comes to a storage customer's online renting journey. Multi-touch attribution, or MTA, is all the rage amongst marketers. Here's why. It assumes that every touch point along the renter's journey has some influence on the decisions to make a purchase. How much each touch point is worth depends on the model used. The most basic MTA model is linear attribution. It evenly distributes credit to each touch point. While this is good for recognizing the most useful marketing sources, it does not provide any information about which touch point was more valuable. A time decay MTA model assumes that the most recent touch points are more valuable than those preceding them in the journey. Like a last touch model, it assigns the most weight to the most recent touch point. Unlike a single touch model, each touch point gets some credit for the lead. The second to last touch point gets the second most credit for the conversion and so on. It is pretty easy to spot the trouble with this model. It assumes that the first touch point did not matter as much. As we saw in our example, the first thing Matt did was click on an ad. We can assume that that ad was pretty important in his decision. A U-shape MTA model takes the first and last touch points as most valuable. It then assigns credit evenly in every other touch point in the middle of the online journey. This model is fairly simple and can be effective when considering which marketing sources capture interest and drive demand. However, of course it lessens the impact that other touch points might have on a renter's decision. Probabilistic MTA is the final model we'll consider. Like other MTA models, it considers every touch point on the renter's journey. Unlike the other MTA models, it does not assign credit arbitrarily to certain touch points in the journey. Probabilistic MTA evaluates thousands of unique buying journeys and millions of data points. It calculates the likelihood that a single touch point will influence a prospect's decision to reach out, schedule a tour, or fill out an application online. Ultimately, it asks the question, if the prospect did not click on this ad, what is the probability that this prospect would convert? By looking at each digital touch point in relation to others, this model can tell which are fundamental to driving marketing conversions. What really matters is that probabilistic MTA accounts for shifts in renters' journeys and provides the data needed to continually adjust tactics. It takes into account the performance of each marketing source and determines the probability of it leading to a conversion across the entire renter's journey. With similar attribution models, we are only able to say which campaigns had an impact at the renter's first or last stage. 
With multi-touch attribution, we can consider the entire online experience and prioritize campaigns that are most likely to have an impact on performance. This allows marketers to consider each campaign in relation to others and make decisions based on how those campaigns will drive more leads to a property. With probabilistic MTA, marketers gain better insight into what's driving qualified leads to their properties. And it's the advanced attribution model that drives G5's predictive marketing technology. We leverage our attribution data to make data-driven decisions and spend smarter on advertising. No matter which type of attribution you use, you need to know which touch points help generate more leads for your property. Without a sound attribution model, you might be spending money on marketing tactics that aren't actually getting you more leads. To learn more about advanced attribution and how G5 uses it to make smarter marketing decisions, go to our website or schedule a demo with us. Thanks for taking the time.